Hi guys, Dane here, and today I have a video about buddy reads for you. So, you may remember a couple months ago I posted a video called 10 Books I Want to Buddy Read, and basically what I did is I underestimated you guys, because I expected maybe I'd get a couple comments here and there from people who were like, yeah, I'll read that one with you, or I'll read that one. So what we ended up doing is buddy reading all 10 of those books, and most most of them, I think there's, there's fewest people that took part in one was like three people reading Heart Shaped Box, by Joe Hill and even then that was a good one so and my channel's grown a little bit since then I've also had a lot of people asking me whether I'm gonna be doing it again what the next buddy reads are gonna be and, and all that kind of stuff so this video is basically all about that but I have put a little bit more of structure into it as well so that basically so I can make it as easy as possible because last time you know I didn't give dates for them I didn't have an easy way to capture the information so I just had people randomly emailing me just saying I want to do this one this one and this one and I had to do a lot of like legwork to bring all of these things together so this time we have a survey monkey survey which I will link to in the description below and also I'll try and remember to pin it in the comments and if you click the survey monkey thing, it's super simple to fill out. So there are three questions, sorry, four questions. We have, what's your name? What's your email address? Then we have the optional one. Do you have a booktube channel? If so, what's the URL? And then you can then check which books you're interested in doing. And then that then allows me, I can export all of this data and very easily set up email threads for each of these buddy reads. So in terms of how the buddy reads are gonna work, each one will last for about a week and we'll aim to start reading it at the start of the week. But again, you know, you can take your time. If it takes you two weeks, that's not a problem. It's just, you might fall a bit behind. Um, what we normally do or what we've been doing for all of them so far is there's no set number of pages to read per day or anything like that so it's literally we will have the week that the buddy read is scheduled for and all bets are pretty much off you know once once that week starts everyone can start and read along at their own pace what we'll try and do is avoid any spoilers in the emails until we reach the end of the books although honestly I haven't found that to be, too, to be too much of a problem anyway, so perhaps people might say, wow, that twist at page 200 or so really took me by surprise. But that's all you really need to get a discussion because then other people can react to it. And if you're at page 100, it doesn't matter whether you've got to page 200, you know. I'm probably explaining this badly, but yes, yeah, so, so there is that. What we got here? So um, each of these... Each of these books, I will also try and do a review on my channel and also give a shout out to all the people who buddy read the book with me. And that's kind of why I want to get people to give me their name, email address and booktube channel. So I can set up the email with everybody in it. I can introduce everybody by name. I can link to their YouTube channels if they have them. And then I can copy and paste that information into the description of my video. So that is all of that legwork out of the way, I think. So all we have left to do now is to talk about the books. So I'm going to go through all of these in order. And like I say, each of these will be a week-long buddy read. And I'm just going to tell you the, the Monday that the week commences on. So book number one, we have The Amityville Horror by Jay Anson. And this will be the week commencing the 20th of August. Book number two. In Cold Blood by Truman Capote, and this will be the week commencing the 27th of August. Book number three, we have Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, and this will be the week commencing the 3rd of September. Book number four, Paper Towns by John Green, and this will be the week commencing the 10th of September. Book number five, The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, and this will be the week commencing the 17th of September. Book number six, my copy isn't the best copy of it, but it is My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier, and this will be the week commencing the 24th of September. Then we have book number seven. This is Daniel Defoe, a Robinson Crusoe, and this will be the week commencing the 1st of October. Book number eight, we have Ernest Hemingway, For Whom the Bell Tolls, and this will be the week commencing the 8th of October. Book number nine, we have Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, and this will be the week commencing the 15th of October. And finally, book number 10, and that is Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood, and that will be uh, the week commencing the 22nd of October. So, I've tried to pick out books from my TBR pile that I think other people might be interested in and might, are more likely to have access to. I mean, a lot of these are actually classic, so for example, Treasure Island, you can download an e-copy of it for free, and even printed copies aren't too expensive. So... 
that's kind of the plan that I've been doing with these buddy reads. I'm always open to feedback along the way, and obviously I've tried to improve upon my last batch of buddy reads by making this one slightly more organized but i have really been enjoying reading books with you know you guys people i watch people who watch me and so um yeah i'm hoping that plenty of you will be up for this and we can do this next batch of 10 buddy reads and then i can see, come come october i can see what new books I've bought that people might be interested in. So yeah, that's about it for this video, short and sweet, but like I say, if you are interested in buddy reading any of these videos with me, then please do click the uh, link to the Survey Monkey and fill that out. Don't just let me know in the comments because I'm only going to be using the Survey Monkey to get the data. I mean, feel free to leave a comment if you want and let me know, oh, I filled out the survey so that I know. <laughs> In fact, that would be super useful because I can then go in and check that it is working properly. I should probably get somebody to test it before I go live with this video, so I might do that as well. Yeah, it seemed like a better way of doing this. If you want to take this idea and run with it on your own channel, please feel free to. You don't have to credit me or anything like that. I'm really excited. I love buddy reading. It's probably one of my favourite things to do on BookTube. And on that note, actually, if you keep your eyes peeled on my haul videos, if you see me haul a book and you're interested in buddy reading it, then let me know on the haul videos because I'm not saying these are the only buddy reads I'll do. This is just going to be the only like large scale buddy reads we do. So let's see if we can get at least 10 people buddy reading the same book this time. I think our record last time was about eight with American Psycho and about three people DNF'd it. <laughs> So yeah, on that note, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you're going to be buddy reading with me. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.